It was a great honor for me to be the Keel Laying Ceremony uh, recipient for the Palmetto State. I've done a lot of these keel layings with other people and, and seen their, their honor and their deal. And, and this ship I know will service our, our commercial customer for years and years to come. My name is Pete Radzicki. I'm Eco Tanker Program Manager. I've been working on the Eco Tanker Program for almost three and a half years now. And I've had the fortunate opportunity to see these ships behind me being built. This program is so special to NASCO because we accomplished a lot in such a short period. We created something that was bigger than ourselves and we did it quickly with high quality and we can leave feeling proud about it. And for us, that kind of adds to it. We produce something that we can look over our shoulders and go, wow, we did that. My name is Michael Murphy. I've worked with NASCO for 12 and a half years, and I work in the steel department for Weld Services. What makes my team and my department different and really special for Palmetto State is that Weld Services is a very small department. We work really closely with all the production teams and management to make sure we stage the best equipment for the job, make sure that we keep it functional, and we make sure that Anything that goes wrong, we exchange it as quickly as possible, which leads to huge improvements for cycle time, safety, and overall cost. My name is Leslie Gonzalez and I've been working for NASCO for 10 years already and I work for Hull Engineering Department. One of the programs that we use for the eco projects is, uh, the, we call it Play Data Manager because it manages all the play data that we use for material ordering to be sure we have all the pieces that they will need at some point for installation. The first time that I was able to see actually how the ship looks, I was impressed. Because for me, being on the computer the whole day, the whole time, you not know, coming to the yard, it's like you just see these small pieces that actually are this big. <laughs> and when you see the whole ship in there, it's like, wow, I helped. Yeah, I was on the computer the whole day, but my work helped to do that. I wasn't here welding, but I also somehow I did my part. My name is Richard Leonberger. I work for Metal Outfitting. My primary focus is uh, ventilation testing. I've been here at NASCO for about 12 years now. For the Palmetto State, I was in charge of the ventilation testing, which includes the uh, air handlers, the uh, accommodations, engine room. We are in charge of the heaters, fire dampers, and uh, also overseeing uh, the ventilation testing for the exhausts, which includes open inspect and doing demonstrations for the crew as well as the government. My name is Juan Avalos. I work in Department Steel in Weld Engineering. I've been working here at NASCO 39 years. Our strength in this team is, is, is assuring the customer we have all our standards and quality assurances in place to make sure this tank is going to be built correctly. This ship is special because during all of our inspection processes, this ship turned out to be the very finest and the best ship in the whole eco program. My name is Alan Miller. I work in Department 19 Transportation. I've been here at NASCO now a little more than 11 years. My job on the KMAG is to move units to different phases of their construction or whether we're taking them to the crane so that they can be put together at their final destination on the ship. My favorite part about coming to work here at NASCO every day is the pride I feel in knowing that I'm a part of building ships that help defend our country, help transport supplies around the world, 
I'm just a part of an amazing team that does things no other people get to do. The overall shipbuilding process is fairly straightforward when it comes down to it. When you think about it, you start out with steel plate, you cut it into pieces and parts. You take those pieces and parts, you make sub-assemblies. Those sub-assemblies then become blocks. We take those blocks, we put piping and outfitting in them, we paint them, we make them into bigger blocks. And those bigger blocks, we erect them all and build a ship. Because of our efforts on the EcoTanker program and our culture of continuous improvement, we're able to deliver a ship 16 months after starting construction on average. That meant we were delivering a ship every three months on the EcoTanker program. In shipbuilding, there's going to be challenges. It's not easy work. But what NASCO is really good at is finding a way or making one. This final block to be erected for the Palmetto State represents an entire eight ship program of equal class tankers designed and constructed at NASCO. For all who sail on these tankers in the decades to come, know these ships were designed with the future of maritime in mind and constructed by the world's best shipbuilders. Right here in San Diego. My name is Pete Radzicki. I'm Michael Murphy. I'm Leslie Gonzalez. My name is Richard Leonberger. My name is Juan Owls. My name is Alan Miller. We are NASCO proud, NASCO strong, and NASCO built. <laughs>